Hey team, welcome back to another brief tutorial and for those that are new to this channel, thanks for joining us. Now today I'll be guiding you through how to simply schedule posts on Facebook. Now this activity is important for those wanting to get started with content marketing as being able to schedule posts on Facebook allows you to simply save time and remain consistent when it comes to your content marketing or social marketing activities. Okay guys, so just quickly before we get stuck in, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that quick note, let's go ahead and dive into Facebook. <music> Okay, so as you can see, I've already gone ahead and logged into my Facebook account and then I've jumped over to our Facebook business page. Now, you can only schedule posts on Facebook through your business page. So if you don't already have a Facebook business page, then feel free to watch our beginners tutorial up above, which will take you through the process to creating your Facebook business page. Now, if you already have one, jump over to your Facebook business page and we're gonna show you three ways how you can schedule your posts. Okay, so firstly, what we wanna do is navigate down the side here and click on publishing tools. And then under publishing tools, this is where we have options to schedule posts. So there's three places we have publish posts. We can go ahead and create a post here and schedule that post, or we can navigate down to scheduled posts and create a scheduled post here. And then we can also come down to create a studio and schedule a post through our creator studio. So what we're going to do is navigate up to publish posts, and then we're going to navigate over to create post. Then under create post, what you want to do is go ahead and create your post. So for us, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and create a quick post. So the text I'm going to type in here is Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Then what I'm going to do is add a photo. And as you can see, you have multiple options here for uploading content. So for us, we're going to click upload photo slash video. And then I'm going to go ahead and upload this Merry Christmas photo and click open. Okay, so I'm happy with my post here. Then to schedule this post, all I need to do is simply come down to newsfeed and where it says share now, all I need to do is click here and come down and click schedule. Then we wanna make sure that publication is selected, then come down here and select your date. So for us, I could go tomorrow, which is Thursday the 24th, and then up here I could select a time. So currently it is 1.53 in my time zone. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and change that to 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. So I'm happy with that scheduled date here. Then once you're happy with your date and time, come down and click schedule. And just quickly, before you go ahead and schedule this post, you can see that it's very straightforward to actually create a post. I've added text content in here, and for my media, I've added an image. Then up here, I can go ahead and actually create an offer, or a job listing. Then down here we have other options, so upload multiple photos or videos. You can get messages from individuals, you can create a tag showing how you're feeling, and then we have other options available down here. Check in, tag products, tag sponsor, advertise your business, get gift card purchases. And then we can also go ahead and add an emoji if we like. But I'm happy with this post, so I'm going to come down and where it says later, you can see that that's already been scheduled. And if we hover over later, we can see that this is scheduled for the 24th of December 2020 at 10 a.m. Then when you're happy, you can come down and preview if you like or go ahead and click schedule post. And just like that, we've gone ahead and scheduled our post. Then on the left hand side, you can see that publish post is selected. These are our published posts. You won't be able to see the post that we just created because it's still being scheduled. And just like that, we've successfully gone ahead and scheduled our post. Now, if we navigate over to publish post, you can see that these are our current published post. You're not going to see the post we just created because it's a scheduled post. So to find that scheduled post, all we need to do is navigate over to scheduled posts. Then you can see our post that we just created. Now I can select here 
to preview our post, so I like the look of this post, I can also come over here to the three dots and then I can edit this post before it goes live if I like, or I can come up to actions and I can reschedule or I can publish this post now or cancel, backdate, delete, or I can create an ad out of this post. So that is how you schedule posts. You can navigate over to create post under schedule posts, or you can head over to publish post and go ahead and click create post to create a scheduled post. Now the last way to do this is to come down to create a studio like we briefly mentioned before. And again, under our creator studio, which is only for business pages, we can come down here and create a post. We can add a story, upload a video, or we can go live to our followers if we like. If I navigate over here and click post something, that's gonna bring up this area to create our new post. And again, once we've created this post with the similar elements as we just showed you before, then you can come down here to where it says share now, and again, come up to schedule and then you have the same options here. So what we're gonna do is exit out of that one and exit out of this. So as you can see, it's very straightforward to create posts and schedule those posts. Now this is handy because it allows you to save time rather than creating posts in the moment. You can create a whole bunch of posts at the beginning of the week or month and you can schedule those throughout the week or month. And that way you can plan around creating content and this helps with keeping you on schedule when it comes to your content calendar, if you have one, or your content marketing plan. So very straightforward and simple to create scheduled posts. And there we have it guys, that is how you can easily schedule posts on Facebook to remain consistent and save time with your social media efforts. Now if you have any questions about this video, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.